Hello everyone, my name is Sian Agarwal from ASP Solutions and the topic for today is account hierarchies in the GL applications. So the trees are the hierarchical data models that we can use to organize data, apply business rules, control data access and improve performance while querying. Account hierarchies are used throughout rapid fusion general ledger applications for creating financial reports, smart view inquiries, allocation definitions, cross-validation rules, and revaluation definitions. You can see an example over this screen, which will help you to understand what are the hierarchies and what are the tree versions or the trees. So say there is a company, total fusion, total infusion companies, and it has two modes, which are Infusion USA, Infusion Canada, Infusion USA Corporation, Infusion USA Headquarters, and all these six are the child nodes of the tree version. So what are what are the tasks which are required to manage the hierarchies? We require the tree structures and the tree, tree versions and the tree labels. Tree structures provide us the framework to organize data such that we can establish a hierarchy for use by the tree. Tree is an instance of the tree structure. The root nodes are the highest nodal point of the tree and child nodes branch off from the root node. Tree versions are the versions of the trees maintained to track all the changes that a tree undergoes in the in its life cycles. And tree labels are the short names which are given to the trees and the tree structures. So we will use the file-based data import technique to import the account hierarchies in the instance. First, we'll go to the task of manage account hierarchies in the instance and create a blank hierarchy or the tree. And then we will upload the data using the LPDI sheets. So from here, we'll select the task, manage account hierarchies in the project and we click on the go to task icon. And you can see all the trees which are already created for creating new, we'll have to click on the create tree icon. Over here, we can give the name of the tree. So we'll get fusion tree as the name. We we'll select tree structure. Tree structure. Uh, we will select as accounting flex field hierarchy. And uh, over here, accounting flex field hierarchy details value. We can bind the value set code in which we are um, enabling the hierarchy. So over here, I'll write using account. Likewise, in the parent value also, I'll mention the same value set code, fusion account. And I'll click on the save icon over here. And then I'll click on the next icon. We'll click on the next icon again and then submit. So this way, our tree, fusion tree has been created. Now we'll click on the create tree version option from here and we'll create a tree version. Oh, just a minute, we have to search our tree first. So our tree name is fusion tree. Search the tree, select it, and then click on the create tree version. Now over here, you can give the name as fusion tree version. You can mention the effective start date. So we'll mention it as 1-8-22 and we'll click on next. A blank tree version created successfully. Click OK to do the notebook operation. Now click on the submit icon. So this way our tree and its version has been created. Now we'll go to the, uh, to the Oracle repository and we'll download the uh, 
import segment value hierarchy fbdi template so uh, you can uh, search the oracle repo uh, repository in the uh, google and you will land over here and from here you can download the template so we have to select the account import segment values and hierarchies and we have to download this sheet click on the download file option the file will be downloaded open it enable editing Uh, there are two sheets over here gl segment value interface and gl segment hierarchies interface over here are the instructions mentioned you can read it and we'll generate the csv file from here so over here we have to write the name of the value set code which is fusion account we just copy this and paste it to the all the values so over here we have updated the value set code and now we'll go to the gl segment hierarchy interface and uh, we'll have to update our tree name and the tree version name and the value set code so it was fusion account tree code was fusion tree and the version was fusion tree version we'll update this to all the values once we have updated the sheets we'll click on the validate segment hierarchies and uh, we'll click on gl segment values interface and uh, validate the segment values once this has been done we'll generate the csv and the zip file from the instructions sheet generate csv we'll save this at uh, on the desktop once these sheets are uh, saved we can go to the project uh, we can go to the instance and from the tools we will navigate to the scheduled processes so from the navigator we will select the scheduled processes option from here and uh, we will click on the schedule new process over here we'll search for the job click on the search icon the name of the job is load interface file for import search for the task now we we'll have to select the we we'll click on okay and and from here we have to select the import process if you will see the import process is mentioned over here the scheduled process is import segment values and hierarchies so you have to just go there and search for this task so we have selected the import process import segment values and hierarchies from here we will select the data file which we have uh, created upload a new file choose file and from the desktop we will select the file which is gl segment values and hierarchies open it and click on okay 
and submit the process. Once this process has been submitted, you can refresh and check, uh, check the process from here. And once this is succeeded, all our chart of accounts hierarchies will be created and submitted. So once we have uh, uploaded those sheets, the fusion accounts, which was first having no values, the values are provided to them and the hierarchy is also created. And that we can see while going to the manage account hierarchy, we can see the hierarchy has also been created. So this is how we create the hierarchy in the, in the Oracle Fusion applications. And, um, and thank you for watching.